Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. As here with Lucky James, and I can hear myself echoing. Sorry for shouting. I probably just startled you all awake there. <laughs> We're very, very, very glad to have everybody here today. It's going to be a very busy and exciting stream because I'm joined by tons of amazing people. Um, we're going to be playing some King of 12 from Rita Mogul, who you may have seen I interviewed last week, and we're bringing King of 12 to the English market next week. It's a really exciting time for King of 12 to be coming out to a wider audience, so we're celebrating the release with the game. And I'm going to say right now, we're going to keep it friendly until a little bit later when I get it all a bit competitive, because <laughs> I think I think we could get a bit of a competitive nature out of some of the people here, hopefully. If you haven't done so already, make sure you head to Lucky Duck Games Facebook because we're running a competition where you can win a copy of King of 12 right now. All you have to do is spot how many differences there are between two of these boxes. If you do it, you can win with a chance of winning. So go and 12. do it if you haven't done it. 12. Shh, Nick. Shh. <laughs> he's, he's, he can't tell that man anything. You tell him a single secret, he just can't help that mouth, I tell you. Go on then, well, Nick. I guess. Tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. I love this. is the first time I've get, gotten to kind of bring you yes. on to our stream for once. Um, I'm normally coming in and interviewing yours. I'm Nick, mildly annoying idiot. Uh, currently <laughs> rebranded from Board Deck and Dice to Pads and, Pro <laughs> Pads and Prawns. Prawns. Which is, which is a, <laughs> <laughs> a channel about um, gaming Ch and Chinese food. Yeah, seafood. <laughs> uh, uh, the reason we rebranded re is my son is now 10, plays a lot of Fortnite, is brilliant at it. I mean, stupidly good, better than me. And um, whenever I try and get him to play board games, he's reluctant at first, but then he has a really good time and beats me, especially dexterity. <laughs> so I've tried to embrace the Fortnite, the pad side, and uh, tried to pick that up a bit more. And he's making an effort with board games. And I thought I'd love to teach him like all Instagram and social media before he hits 13 and wants to do it. And, you know, with no, that's going to be his world. So I want to teach him how to use it from this point of view. And also, you know, young people, they go, oh, I want to be a YouTuber and make loads of money. So I want to show him how much work it is to do um, even a little bit. So, yeah, so that's it's good fun. That's he incredible. Knows he knows the front end, but as soon as you get him plugging wires in, he's he's sticking his USB threes and his USB Cs and all sorts. <laughs> That's so, yeah. absolutely awesome. I, I love the rebrand. I think the logo looks amazing. I love seeing your Facebook page yes. updated and I can't wait to check out some of that Jamie. content. Jamie Noble Fryer, that. Jamie's a nice guy. That is wicked. Brilliant. So I'll move on round the circle. I'll come to Thanos, who is if you don't know board game stories, I consider it I remember it really for two things. Board Game Stories is, first of all, the purple website. Yeah. It's the most it's the most purple website in the world, and I adore it for that. And yeah. secondly, Thanos does the most amazing story content. He's done loads of how to plays, and he's done a how to play on King of Twelve, which we're going to play tonight. He's done unboxings and opening stories for Lucky Duck Games before, and I adore it. And this is the first time that I've got to have Thanos in person. So thank you for coming, sir. Thank you for your kind words. Um, what is it you do? Yeah, tell us a bit about board board story or board game stories. Yeah, I have a website since uh, 2016, and I decided to make some videos about a year ago, a year and a half, and I make videos in the form of stories mostly, as you as you mentioned, and uh, all kind of videos, uh, reviews, unboxing, how to play, but always in form of stories, some kind of stories. And, and that comes through so well, even when you're just doing simple unboxings where you slowly unbox the piece, uh, the game component by component and lay it all out. And then you take the time to move down and get the experiences if you're doing it yourself. You really get that feeling in, in your in your stuff. And I love it. We actually had a convention a couple of weeks ago called Gamma. It's a it's a business to business convention where we speak to retailers and distributors around the world. And we showed off some of our products via Board Game Stories videos. They're just, they're that wonderful to watch. So yes, if you haven't done it, check out Board Game Stories because it's well worth your time. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, I'm incredibly disappointed because when I spoke to Jess and I suggested that Jess and Sam come on a stream and play some King of 12, <laughs> I thought that I was a guaranteed locking horns competitive battle I was going to get into. Because <laughs> Sam and Jess have an amazing Instagram, which is entitled S versus J Board Games. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tell us a little bit about where that came from, and then tell me why you decided to be on the same team tonight. 
Well, we are a fiercely competitive board gaming couple. Um, we got into the hobby about a couple of years ago, but it's been uh, an incredible few years where our collection has gone from about 10 games to nearly 200. And uh, a couple of years ago, we set up an Instagram account to kind of document it all. Uh, Jess uh, loved taking the photographs of it, and uh, we thought it'd be a good place to kind of put them to show, share with the world, and obviously uh, fell in love with the Instagram world because it's a, a lovely place. Uh, and then recently we started a website, sversusjboardgames.com, just to kind of like write some longer reviews and things because Instagram really isn't the place for reviews. But in terms of deciding to play together rather than against each other, you don't want to have a domestic on a live stream. On your first ever live stream as, a, as, a, as an Instagram entity, you don't want to be uh, having a dispute. So uh, we find it disagree, we disagree less when we're playing cooperatively, is that right? I'm so sorry, chat. I feel like I've let you all down. I was hoping to bring you drama, but we might just have to be civil and nice this evening. <laughs> we might fall out over which card to play. You, you, we can't write it off just yet. Yeah. There's I mean, still time. There's still time. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I should say that um, I've been just working with you guys for a very short space of time and just been familiar with what you're doing and the content you put out, the pictures you put out are great. And when I found out that you were going to the website and going to big reviews, I was ecstatic because it was enabled us to get more stuff your way and get you involved. So thank you for coming on and for joining in your first live stream with us. That's awesome. You're yes. welcome. <laughs> um, and last but not least, representing Lucky Duck Games, but specifically Lucky Duck Games Poland or Polska. And I think it's important to note that I've been very, very evil bringing Sophie on tonight because <laughs> we are publishing King of 12 in English and we're publishing it in French. We are unfortunately not publishing it in Polish and Sophie has never played the game before. And I've put all the weight on her shoulders tonight to say, Sophie, you need to win it for Lucky Duck. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, indeed, we have like slightly different titles for all of our uh, different branches and Lucky Duck Poland doesn't do King of 12 but I will do my best. And for anybody who might be watching in Poland is there any like big titles that are coming out there that you think are worth mentioning? Um, so the next one which is coming is coming to all three uh, markets which is Chronicles of Crime 1900. Obviously. So one of our Millennium series is this, this month as well so this is the next big thing. Well, I see you've got fans in chat. There's Anna. Anna's like, yeah. So there you go. You've got some support. I see I see Anna coming in and helping you, Sophie. So that bodes well for us. Okay. Without further ado, we're going to get on to the most important part of tonight. And I'm hopefully going to press a button and everything is not going to break. Here we go. And I'm going to press another button. No, not that one. That one. All right. Oh, okay. We made it. Look how small we all are now. So the most important part of tonight is to pick your hairy haggis. So I have four little hairy haggises. For anyone that doesn't know, pigs. these are little wild creatures native to Scotland. They come from the Highlands. You should never get them wet and you should feed them lots of roughage. Love some Brussels sprouts too, they little hairy haggises. And I thought what we would do to give you all a little bit of a mascot in this is we're gonna let you all pick a mascot. So Nick, I'll start with you because you were the first I asked. Would you like ginger haggis? Yeah. White haggis, gray oh, haggis, ginger, or gray haggis with a bow. I want ginger. Ginger, ginger. as has us. All right, there we go. And by the wonders of amazing technology, speak. look at this technology. <laughs> <laughs> so carrying on around the table, Thanos, would you like gray with bow haggis, gray haggis, or or white haggis? I will go with white. You go with white haggis. Okay, look at this technology. Oh no, the king of twelve has. Oh, balance of his ears. Yes. There we go. Well, just look at that. Well prepared. Well prepared. Hands. Okay. Sam and Sam and Jess, would you like grey haggis or grey haggis with bow? What a choice. We'll have grey haggis with a bow, please. Yes. And technically, this is really just so I don't lose track of whose cars are where. <laughs> because it's very important that everyone's playing remotely. We've got people in the UK, in Poland, and in Greece. So this is a real long distance session. But I decided we would do it in person rather than on Tabletopia. And there is a version of King of 12 on Tabletopia. But I thought we'd do it this way for a little bit of extra fun. Sophie, I'm sorry to say that you get left with Grey Haggis. I can handle that, yeah. Perfect, perfect. I, I, thought, I thought you'd be fine with it. <laughs> I will like this one. So... For anyone that doesn't know how to play, we're going to play King of 12. King of 12 is a game 
by, as I mentioned earlier, by Rita Moldo, that involves two to four players trying to get control of the kingdom by gaining stylish victory points. And normally what will happen is you will get yourself some victory points if you manage to have the highest number at the end of each turn. If you have the highest number on your dice value, you're going to get points. But sometimes that's going to get trickied and reversed and turned around. You're going to see how that happens as we go. Now, when you play King of 12, there are actually 12 different characters that you can choose between to enter into the game. So I've got some of them here. I'm just going to flip through very quickly. But for our first game, we're going to play with the seven that the game recommends as the tutorial, the introduction. And these seven cards tend to lean a little bit towards a more civil game, a more civilized, friendly, uh, not messing with other players kind of game. And in the second game, we'll completely change that and we'll let chat decide some of the more aggressive cards that we can put in instead. Um, so just to go through a couple of the cards very quickly. So this is what a card looks like. In this case, you'd play it and the knight says that this turn, the lowest die value is the winner and the second lowest is the runner up. We've got the alchemist, which will double your die value. We've got the machine that'll add seven to your die value and his counterpart, the parasite that will remove seven. And we've got a couple of other cards as well that I'm just going to leave to you to discover as the guys play them and go through. So have you all got... Who did the artwork? I knew you were going to make me say this. It's Robin Lagoffon. Um, who... Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Robin Lagoffon. Um, if Vince is watching or anyone in France, I'm so, I'm so terribly sorry. <laughs> it's the only game that Robin has ever done the art for. And I'm very excited to say that they had a really good time and will be doing a follow-up second game in the King of 12 world using the same artwork. It's been a really smash hit success. Uh, the game's actually had three print runs in Germany before we've come ahead and looked to bring it to the English market. So King of 12 has gone down a storm. All right. Have you all got your cards at the ready? Yarp. Yarp, yep. yarp. Okay. So I'm going to, well, let's see. I'm going to grab these some way so I can, let's do Sam and Jess there. Let's do Sophie there. And let's do Nick there. Okay. We got this. So what I need you all to do is be very, very honest with me. <laughs> roll your roll your 12-sided dice and let me know what result you get to start the round. 26. Uh, so what do you get, Nick? 26? One. <laughs> you got a one. Okay. That's instant win, yeah? Uh, <laughs> Sophie and Jess. Oh, sorry. It's Sam and Jess. What did you get? <laughs> we got eight. You got eight. Okay. Uh, Thanos? 11. 11. And Sophie? Six. Six. Okay. So Nick's on one, Simon Jess is on eight, Thanos is on 11, Sophie on six, yeah? So this is the starting values for the dice, and it's going to be down to the players now to look at your, your hand of seven cards and individually, or as a team, in Simon and Jess's case, pick a card and get ready to play it secretly so no one's going to know what you're playing. The goal, unless someone plays the knight, is to have the highest dice value at the end after one card is played. The player with the highest die, die, uh, whoop, die value will get two victory points, and the players with the second will get one victory point. However, if players play the same card, the cards will be cancelled. Also, if players end up with the same dice value, they will be cancelled as well. So the goal is going to be to augment your dice or your dice value, get it as high as possible, but don't match with anybody else's card or don't match with anybody else's die value. All right, folks. Whenever you're ready, hold your cards up and let us know. Don't show anybody just yet. Okay, I can see Sam and Jess's. I can see Sophie's. No, I, oh yes, I did. I should have, I should have said, I, please forgive me, <laughs> that, that tonight Nick will be playing with his own custom set of King of 12 cards because unfortunately, shipping from Europe to the UK at the moment is a little temperamental and his copy of King of 12 got somewhere waylaid. So Nick's be kind enough to print out a copy. <laughs> have you put? Have you sleeved them, Nick? Is that what you've done? Yeah. Oh, you style. You you just happen to have some portrait card sleeves in the house. I um, resize them to kind of poker size. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna just pretend that. <laughs> You legend. You absolute legend. Amazing. Okay. So and it took six hours, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So everybody, reveal your cards, and I'm going to go through one at a time to see what each one of you played. So, Nick, what did you play? Gollum. Gollum. That's not a 
uh, how have I how have I lost a card already? Hold on, hold on. Very first card. <laughs> what did I do with the column? It's going. He's looking for his ring. Hold on, hold on a second. How have I managed? To... There we go. He was hiding amongst the cards I had set aside. So you've played the golem, Sam and Jess. What did you play? The sorcerer. The sorcerer. Thanos. The machine. The machine. <laughs> and finally, Sophie, what did you play? I have a sorcerer as well. Oh. We already have the situation here. Sabotage. So... Okay, and you have a sorcerer as well. Okay, I'm gonna give me one second while I sort myself out here. I've got cards coming out the wizard. There we go. Sorted. Right. So we look we'll at the cards that have been played. And if there's any matches, we're gonna cancel them. So the two sorcerers of Sophie and Sam and Jess are gonna get cancelled. And then the machine and the golem essentially are gonna happen simultaneously. But the golems has a specific rule if you want to read it, Nick. Your die value becomes 12. If your die shows a 12 after all effects, your die value becomes one instead. So right now you're on one, which is fine. Uh, Thanos, you're on 11, but you're adding seven to it with the machine. Yeah. So the dice value is there for Thanos will be 18. For Nick will be 12. Right. Sam and Jess will be eight. And Sophie will be six. So two points to Thanos. Oh dear. One point to Nick. It's okay. It's early days. It's all right. <laughs> can you go minus numbers? You can go minus dice value, but I'll not let you go minus victory points. Don't worry. So I'll flip Thanks. these over and let's go again. So everybody grab a card. I'd like to say I said this dice would roll a one. I did call it. You did that. call it. You really, you did pre stream. Nick was deciding between his 12 sided dice that was all 12s or the dice that was almost certainly going to roll a one. So thank you for playing honestly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what, is, what is that you're putting up? That's my pink dice of power. Three. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Did you roll your dice again? Yeah. You do not need not to. to. You, no, you don't need oh, to. You, you can, you can leave your dice. Rules. You can leave your dice on one, I'm afraid. Up with a one. Oh, no, this is awkward. <laughs> and hello to everybody in chat. Hello, uh, Blackwing Bird. It's so fluffy. Hello, Grace. Yes, my the haggises are so cute. So Thanos is them. still technically an 18. No. So what we're, what we're back to now is the normal oh, die value on the okay. faces again. So the, the value is essentially gone between the turns. <laughs> All right, so Sam and Jess are ready. I can see Sophie is ready. Nick is ready. Thanos. Ooh. I think Thanos should have to tell us the story of his card every time. <laughs> 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 All right, Nick, what did you play? The knight. Okay, so hoping with that one to get something. I thought someone was going to play on the f to cancel me on the first go. <laughs> Sam and Jess? Well, it's bad news for Nick, I'm afraid, because we have used the Parasite to subtract seven. Oh, that would put you unless both. At a, that would put you both at a dice value of one, unless uh, Thanos. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's huge! Oh no! Oh. And finally, <laughs> Sophie. Um, alchemy. So times oh. two. Alchemist. Absolutely outrageous. Yeah. So what happens? The two parasites will cancel each other, which means the knight will be in play. So Nick, you have the lowest score. You're going to score yourself two points. Yes. And Sophie, you have the second. No, you're on 12. Sorry. So it's actually yeah. Simon. Yes. Have the lowest score, second lowest. So they get one point. On the board. Yes. I'm a board game review who's my friend, allegedly, and has the same <laughs> name as me, Nick. That's what we want to hear. That's him out of the wheel. <laughs> we'll slip you that afterwards, Nick. Absolutely adore it. Out of the wheel. Maybe. Right. Let me flip the cards over, and you can all begin choosing your next card. Now, to explain what happens when the round ends, the round will end when one player gets to eight points or when the players get down to one card left. So you're not going to play all of your cards. You will be left with one that will not get played. At the end, once we either hit eight points or get down to one card, whoever has the most 50 points will win the round, and whoever can win two rounds will take the win of the game. However, if the victory points match at the end of the round, your scores of both the matching uh, pairs will be cancelled. 
So be very careful. You can still win with only one point. <laughs> that's what we're for. That's what that's the aim. <laughs> <laughs> board board game review Nick has doubled down uh, unfortunately on the lack of support <laughs> unbelievable oh. I, sent, I sent his kids free games and everything knowing that this would happen <laughs> like eight months to a year later I planned for it and it still didn't work <laughs> right who's got their cards for me I like this. This is great. I have no pressure about losing. It's amazing. This is wonderful. Now I've got points. I'm panicking. I was fine when I had nothing. What's my comfort zone? It's all to lose now, Nick. All to lose for. So we've got Sam and Jess. I can see Sophie's. I can see Nick's. Thanos is ready. Right, Nick, what did you play? The machine. The machine. Sam and Jess. The machine. <laughs> oh, no. Three in a row, guys. Three in a row. Thanos. The Alchemist. The Alchemist. Yep. Well, this could be a really good... And we know Sophie has played her Alchemist, so Thanos could be safe if Sophie plays... The Golem. The Golem. Hmm. All right. Not so, good round for us. so the two machines get cancelled. Thanos... I'm getting off one. <laughs> Thanos <laughs> doubles his score to 22 and Sophie your dice becomes 12 so Thanos two points for you sir and Sophie yeah. one point for you all right do, do, do. so we've got Sam and Jess on one and Sophie also on one we've got Nick on three and we've got Thanos on four <clears throat> all right Here's, well, here's the, here's the seriousness. Sam and Jess have their card ready. The competitiveness is coming. Yes. yes. Three, three times in a row now. We'll, we'll, so. uh, do we play all the cards? Or, oh, sorry, all that, but, but one. One, one card, card will remain unplayed. <sighs> Unless somebody manages to hit eight points, which is unlikely in a four-player game, I think. Okay, everybody's ready. Right, Nick, what have you got for me? The Oracle. Okay. You've been holding on. You've been waiting to do that reroll. I really <laughs> hope someone someone has not come along and ruined this plan have. for you. I can see you already. Yeah. <laughs> They're <laughs> laughing. Sam and Jess, you're all right this time. The alchemist. Oh, the alchemist. Okay. I still not. Thanos. The golem. The golem. Uh, man, I'm terrible at this game. I can't even keep track of what everyone's playing. I thought Thanos had played the golem. I'm awful at this. Sophie. The machine. Oh, we have four different cards. All really? right. So the first thing that happens is the Oracle. Now, Nick, how are you going to do this on camera so we know we can trust you? <laughs> You'll hear it. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a 12. <laughs> what was it? It's a one. It's got a one in it. I'll give you a clue. It's got a one in it. <laughs> Is it weighted, your dice? <laughs> oh, no. It's from Forgotten Waters, and that game is harsh. So that's why it rolls one. I should have got something else. I, I want to I, I I bring Jess up on screen because she looked very happy at that dice roll. Just like <laughs> there, was, there was pure, unadulterated joy when she was like, he got a one. Yes. <laughs> so. That's fine. Yours is covered. Alchemist that, for Sam and Jess becomes... more than Nick's betrayal. <laughs> oh. Uh, so Alchemist for Sam and Jess becomes 16, because you double. Uh, the Golem takes Thanos to 12, but the Machine takes Sophie to, my math is terrible, 15? No, 13, 13. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that means Sam and Jess will get two points. Sophie, you'll score one. And Thanos, unfortunately, nothing. And Nick, nothing. Oh, okay. oh. All right. So we're down to three cards per player. So there's potentially just two rounds left. Thanos on four, Sam and Jess and Nick all on three, and Sophie on two. All right. Oh, no, I've changed the order of things. What have I done? Now people have moved. Uh, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and Thanos, have you got your card? Awesome. Yeah. All right, Nick, what are you playing? The Sorcerer. Okay. Oh, I like this. And Sam and Jess. The Golem. The Golem. Um, 
Thanos. The Sorcerer. Oh no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Nick! Thomas. <laughs> and Sophie? The Oracle. The Oracle. All right, so the two sorcerers are going to cancel each other out. That rolled well. <laughs> and Sophie, we're going to give us a roll. Mm. 11. 11. Oh, that's interesting. Still all ones. That's Apparently. that's going to... Oh, but hold on. That's going to make this very interesting indeed. So Sam and Jess are on an effective 12, which would put them in first. Sophie and Thanos are both tied on a value of 11, meaning they cancel each other. So Nick's going to get a point. Hey! <laughs> and Sam and Jess take the lead Ooh. on five with two. Nowhere. Oh, wow. <laughs> That oracle, man. So this is going to be the last round. One card left to play for everybody. Right now, Nick and Thanos are both on four. Sam and Jess are on five. Sophie's on two. Oh, I don't, I don't know how to call this right now. For me, out of sympathy. Out of sympathy. <laughs> don't like my wrong result. It's all gone. Okay. Okay, right, Nick. Big, big last call. I've just, I've made a last minute change. Oh, have you? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you going with? Parasite. You have, you have, you've done quite an interesting thing here, and I think it could pay off for you if we see a knight. Uh, Sam and Jeff. Three knights. That's the problem. Sam and Jeff. Oracle. Oracle. Yeah, they can see the look on his on Thanos' face already. Thanos. Yeah, the Oracle. And then Oracle. <laughs> oh, has Sophie saved the day? Kind of, not really. Parasite. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Nick. Nobody wanted to give you the chance of getting a knight. I'm sorry. So, oh, right now, it's. Oh, hold on a minute. Well, this is crazy. It's a difference because I would have two allies. Everything is cancelled, is right, Sam. So, yeah. that means that the two 11s. Two 11s cancelled. So, Sam and Jess are going to get two. <laughs> Nick is going to get one. Boom. Boom. I think that's At the most end... successful ever, anyone's ever been on a one the whole way through. <laughs> Claiming it. So Sophia two, Thanos and four, Nick on five, Sam and Jess on seven. Okay. So Sam and Jess, you won one round. You need to win a second round to win the entire game. But what you now need to do is look at your seven cards, choose one, and secretly put it uh, under your dice. Mm -mm, because that card is going to be basically out of action for the rest of the game for you. I'm just going to put a mock card down there. So you, so this this round will be one round shorter because, again, the round will end when a player gets down to just one card left and Sam and Jess are going to be one card short because they currently have one round. And I've popped the dice, or the card underneath the dice so you can see. All right, so everyone else can take their seven cards back. Sam and Jess, have you set aside your card? We have. We have. Yeah. Perfect. So starting the next round, everybody roll your dice, and let's hope Nick gets a one again. I mean, shall I even bother? Should we just say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it almost went off the table, but it didn't. Okay, I'm going to grab all my points back. Grab these. Uh, grab these. Uh, these. Okay, Nick, what did you get? It looks like a one, but it's a seven. Yay. <laughs> Sam and Jess? A nine. A nine. Okay. Uh, Thanos? A three. Three. And Sophie? A three as well. A three as well. Oh, oh. That's always dangerous when you've got two people on the same dice fire. You could end up with a lot of cancellations if you're not careful. All right. I'll move that to here. <laughs> Uh, where am I put that? Put it there. That's fine. Okay. So, everybody, look into your hand of cards and get your first choice. <laughs> and hey, Tom, yes, I very much hope a bunch of people have been on the Lucky Duck Games Facebook today and trying to find the differences between the two boxes. And hopefully, we'll have a winner because there was a lot of get a lot of different guesses, actually, which really surprised me. We had some as low as five or six and some as high as 12. I'm not going to say how many are right. Nick had a stab earlier. He thought it might be 12, but he's not trusting. Now I'm thinking it's one. <laughs> that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Find the differences. Zero there's actually, would be good. There's actually none, right? None. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, Thanos, have you got your card? My tackiness yeah. wore off. Oh, there all right, go. Nick. Shoot with take your tackiness away and tell me what you're playing. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. All I can right. stick much more than cards to my forehead as well. I can <laughs> stick some quite heavy objects. <laughs> Sam and Jess. Oh, oh what? the parasite. The parasite. <laughs> What's he doing? Wooden token. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a metal coin, Nick. That's that's what I want to see. <laughs> I don't think I've got any nearby. Thanos, what did you play? The knight. The knight. <gasps> Looks like it might have played right into Sam and Jess's plan. Oh, I love it. But what did Sophie play? Uh, the machine. The machine. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, this is interesting. So we've got four different cards. Uh, so essentially, everything can happen simultaneously. So the, the machine will put Sophie up to 10. The Parasite will bring Sam and Jess down to 2. We've got the Sorcerer. So Nick, the Knight is in play, meaning the lowest number yeah, yeah. is going to win. The Sorcerer, for, for people at home, it's quite a powerful card. It lets you rotate your D12 to any of the five connecting sides and your dice value then becomes, your dice itself will actually change for the game, not just the value. So Nick? I, I mean, I don't want people to think I'm bitter, but if I- Come go on, do two, it, you gotta do it. So there's I, won it? So I'm going down to two. You gotta go down to two. <laughs> They're winning. <laughs> Had to do it. I would've done the same, we'd have done the same. That's amazing. So hold on a second. I need, to, I need to keep track of everything now. So Nick's on a two, Sam and Jess are on a two, so their dice are essentially cancelled. Thanos is on three, and Sophie's on ten, but the lowest number is going to win. So Thanos scores two points, and Sophie scores one. Uh, he's got to stick wow. on two now, though. He's stuck yeah, on two. Well, I'm, I'm going to try and uh, get back to one. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I thought that ride was going to go at all. That was amazing. Hmm. All right, folks, get your cards out. Yeah. You've got some. You've got some support in the chat. Nick Bree says, "Don't worry, Nick. You're still tacky." <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of support I like. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, I like it. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this card. I'm going to put it under under the haggis. Is what I'm going to do. Get under there. There we go. Um... Okay, Nick, you got your card. Uh, oh, he's I'm, thinking. I'm he's thinking. thinking. Oh, he's, he's taking it seriously now. He's not sticking <laughs> it to his head anymore. Now the game face is on. Oh, oh there it is. Still. <laughs> right, Nick, what did you play? The Alchemist. Okay. The 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 Alchemist? Yeah. I've got All right. Don't worry. Just check it, okay? <laughs> Sam and Jess. The Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Thanos? Yeah, the sorcerer. No! Oh, no! Happen again. It's Sophie? The knight. The knight. Oh, very nice. Okay. Finally, something plays out. Well, this is going to be weird. So, the two sources will cancel. Yeah, Sophie, you just realized what's going to happen. <laughs> so, the two threes are going to cancel each other. <laughs> The four of Nick is going to somehow take a win, Nick, <laughs> with a long play. Tom, you, you, you double checked my card and everything. I, I like, did. I had. I had no faith, and I've been proven wrong, sir. You did well. <laughs> and Sam and Jess, with your nine. <laughs> wow. All right. So Nick's on two. Sam and Jess on one. Sophie on one. And Tanis yet to score, unfortunately. works there as well <laughs> i don't like to talk about it much but it is a gift <laughs> it just never stops giving it's nick it just it really is it just <laughs> all right sophie's ready tanos is ready nick is always ready sam and jess, jess are having a domestic there <laughs> it's getting yeah, it's, it's brilliant it would be good if for the news well, then i'm okay <laughs> But it's not, <laughs> not at all. Uh oh, <laughs> was this was this your plan, Sam? Is this? Uh oh, okay. Oh goodness. All right. Well, Nick, Nick, what did you play? Gollum. Gollum. 
Sam, you can always come and um, be part of the prawns team on Pads and Prawns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only good at picking the cards that everyone else picks at the moment. <laughs> okay, Sam and Jess, what did you play? The high risk. The night. The night on oh, a nine. Oh, this is crazy fun. I love it. Betting that people are going to go high. Thanos, the oracle <gasps> could come, oh, could come down to a dice round. roll. Could do with what? your rolling 10. <laughs> Has Sophie had a similar idea? Nope, sorcerer. Oh, here we go. We are on. All right, so the Happy. effect that happens last is the oracle. So, Nick, you're on an effect of 12. Yeah. We know that the lowest score is going to win this round. And Sophie, which side would you like to turn to? Mm. I'm tempted to go for one since it seems to be the great Do idea. It. Get the points. It does seem to be what the cool kids are doing. Mm -hmm. I think. Can you show the, the, the screen oh, again? Like what yeah. everybody has? So they, yeah. they have eight. Uh, so uh, Sam okay. and Jess are on nine right now. And currently, the lowest score wins. I will go to five. Five, so three goes to five. All right, Thanos, this is your moment, sir. Time to put some yeah. points on the board. Let's roll the dice. It's 11. It's 11. Oh, not the time Always to go high. Wins. Again. <laughs> yeah, so currently lowest is Sophie on five. So Sophie will get two points. Sam and Jess in second with nine get one point. Mm -mm. And Oracle and Gollum for Nick and Thanos, unfortunately, don't serve any points this round. All right. Mm -mm. This is the last, last one. Is it? We've got. No, no, not yet. We've still got two more to play. Is that right? No, because uh, Sam and Jess have got less, haven't they? Yeah. How many cards do you have? We've, We've got, got three left. Three, yeah. So two, two to play. What have I done wrong? <laughs> Are you counting your instructions as a card? No. We'll see what happens. It'll be fine. It's a good job we have you first, so if you play a card you should be playing, we can just double back. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that one. I just added that one to the discard pile for no reason. <laughs> What are you playing for this turn? Are you changing your mind? Was that a special card? No, no, I'm playing this one. What is it? The Knight. The Knight. Sam and Jess. The Golem. Golem. Uh, Just out of sync a little bit, maybe. Mm. Thanos. The, mach uh, the Machine. The Machine. Yeah. And Sophie. I have a golem, and for once I'm happy it cancels, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's worked very well. So the two golems will cancel. I knew all the other nights had been played. Mm. Only a parasite could ruin my day. I thought you did already. <laughs> everyone else did. I let wrong. everyone else play it. So you'll get two, Nick, and Sophie, you'll yeah. get one. So you guys are both tied on four points apiece with one card left to play. Sam and Jess are on two. And Thanos, unfortunately, is on nothing for this round. Right. It's okay. It's okay. You're just lulling them all into a false sense of security. And any moment, you're going to swoop in and just blow them all away. It'll be great. Okay. So final card for this round. Nick's ready. Sophie's ready. Sam and Jess are ready. Doo -doo -doo. Good job I didn't use my green back to... <laughs> oh, now I'm really disappointed. <laughs> okay. Everyone's ready. Nick, last card. What are you playing? Oracle. Oh, you're leaving it down to the roll, you crazy man. Yeah. Sam and that. Jess. Or well, maybe. The Alchemist. The Alchemist. <laughs> Thanos. Oh, I the forgot Alchemist. to turn the machine over, sorry. The Alchemist, sorry. Oh! We have to do that, I'm sorry, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> and Sophie? The Alchemist. <laughs> the Alchemist, yay! <laughs> well... So hold on a minute. Is your one dice roll, Nick, about to decide how this game ends? Oh, yes, <laughs> Is that literally what's about to happen right now? <laughs> I think at the same point. Blow it a kiss, Az. Bl <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Ten. He wins the round. I think he wins uh, the no, round. Uh, so, so, oh, there's a... 
did that where did that point come from? I hope I didn't not give someone that point I, anyway. I think I had I think I had two points in the well, beginning, but I'm not sure. So I it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> please please tell me if I accidentally hide your points underneath. I think I no, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, I think because what would happen is Thanos would go to, because he wins this round, he would go to two or four. But Nick, 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 Nick gets a point and steals second, which wins the round. Well done, sir. Yes. Wow. Can't believe you let that down to the Oracle. <laughs> so pick a card for you to put aside. Mm. Sam and Jess or Nick. If either of you guys win the next round, it's game over. But Sophie and Thanos, you're still very much in it. And you've still got more cards to choose from. So hopefully... Yep. Yep. Uh, so let me put one under Nick's haggis. Oh, I guess get Nick off the screen. Look at him taking everything, over, taking everything <laughs> up there. Too much beauty. You can only have so much, you know. You can only have so much. That's why I was given these ears. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to grab all your cards back. Okay. So, Nick, have you set aside one of your seven cards? Yarp. Okay, so Nick's down a card, Sam and Jess are down a card, Danos and Sophie still have the full spread. Roll your dice. Wow. All right, Nick. Six. Six. Sam and Jess. Five. Five. Thanos. Two. Two. And Sophie. Seven. Seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, folks, you know what to do. <laughs> Good thinky thoughts. All right. So, Nick, Nick, are you so quick because you're just randomly shuffling the cards and then just drawing one? Is that why you're so quick to pick? That's what you told me to do. <laughs> All right. Nick's ready, Thanos ready, Simon Jess ready, Sophie ready. Did any of you used to watch Gladiators on Saturday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it reminded me of that. <laughs> and the action. Re really, action really wanted to bring it out. I missed it. <gasps> I missed it. Yeah. That would have been, if, if he had turned around and said, like, audience, ready, I would have just lost it, I would have fainted, would have just, that would have made my whole Christmas. Oh, okay, Nick, what are you playing? The Sorcerer. The Sorcerer. Sam and Jess? The Oracle. The Oracle. Mm. Thanos. The Machine. The Machine. Are we going to manage to avoid any snaps? Will Sophie ruin the day? <laughs> I love the alchemist. Oh, wow. We? Okay. So, the Oracle, if I remember correctly, let me bring us up on the screen. So, it will happen last so we're going to wait on that one Thanos is yours is easy yours just takes you to a die value of nine Sophie you're going to 14 Nick what are you turning your dice to 11 from six to 11 we're all right in... Sam and Jess it just could get worse take pressure <clears throat> and it has three three <laughs> right. that's kind of gambling on a night card there guys not much to complain about is it three <laughs> <laughs> thanks chris i appreciate the support even though i'm not playing i appreciate i appreciate the support in chat <laughs> so two points for nick somehow wait is that right no two points for sophie sorry yeah one and one point for nick yeah. Yeah. sorry sophie nearly i still got faith the lucky duck crew are going to bring it back we'll see we'll see i believe in you Otherwise, the entire company is getting a. All thirty of us are getting a, a, an all email first thing tomorrow morning. From the designers or from you? <laughs> Sophie, let the side <laughs> down, man. <laughs> all right. Okay. I wouldn't be able to play this game with my son because he can literally read my mind in these games. He knows exactly what I choose all the time. <laughs> In the two-player variant and even the three, there's a severe amount of that. In four, it gets a little bit more wild. <laughs> okay, everybody's ready. Nicholas, what are you playing? Alchemist. 
Alchemist. Salmon Jess. The Knight. The Knight. No. <laughs> oh, there's some noises. There are some noises. Thanos. <laughs> the Knight. The Knight. No. <laughs> I knew somebody will, and I have the Parasite. But... No. <laughs> Did you play the Knight? You would have lost either one. No, Parasite. Parasite. Oh, well done. I was hoping for somebody so to play the knight, but it well, went so well. <laughs> You're gonna uh, I have to jump for a second to drop my plugin, so I will. Yeah, can go, you go, resolve go. it without me, and I'll be in a second. Yeah, you just steal all the points and then leave. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I'll I'll I'm going to get some metal coins as well. <laughs> I mean, all right. <laughs> well, just everyone's going to leave me all of a sudden. <laughs> Totally. Okay, I'm gonna cancel the two nights. I'm gonna. So Sophie's on zero, and you're on twenty-two. Thank you. <laughs> so Sam and Jess are indeed gonna get a point. Yes. With three. Played for it. Played for it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm making sure I haven't hidden any points under Thanos's haggis here. Oh, that is a heavy one. There you go, Az. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't tease me like that. What's happening? Metal coin. <laughs> okay, now I need two metal coins. I'll give you a sci-fi star-shaped heavy one. <gasps> this is not how I thought this night was going to go. <laughs> Great. So, I'm that. usually hired by Comic Relief. It's because I'm so entertaining. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what what more do you want for your? I'm reason? lost. I'm lost for words. I literally have nothing to say about what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> right, pick a card, Nick. <laughs> there you go. Wonderful technology here. Do 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 do. Thanos, you got your card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, Nick. What are you playing? <laughs> The machine. The machine. Have any of you seen that stand up? Oh, what's the stand up comedian? We talked about going to Russia and they call him the machine. No, only me. Never mind. Sam and Jess, what card did you play? <laughs> the sorcerer. The sorcerer. Hello, <laughs> Just the oh, dream no. you had. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanos, no, don't do it to us. The sorcerer. Oh. <laughs> Surprise, the sorcerer. Oh my word. Oh. What is happening? Oh, dear. Oh. Well, this is <laughs> so all three sorcerers taken out for anyone who's great at counting cards. My tacky skin is, is getting in everyone's head. That's what it is. With 18, Nick scores two points. And on seven, Sophie gets one. Wow. So this round could end whenever someone hits eight points, but if it doesn't, I believe it'll be two more cars. Mm -hmm. And yes, thank you very much for sharing that, Bria. It is indeed Bert who did that stand-up comedy. It's amazing. And hello, Bobby. It's lovely to have you back. <laughs> All right. Nick's locked in. Sam and Jess locked in. Danos locked in. Sophie locked in. Right, Nick, what do you got? Gollum. Yeah. Gollum. Sam and Jess. The machine. The machine. Thanos. Gollum. Sophie. The machine. Oh, what is <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, dear. So, all the I'm, I'm ready. I'm already ready. So two points for Nick again. One point for Sophie. All right, last card. Can't catch him. SD card. Can't catch well. him. He's got. He's oh, well. I know Sophie. Well, here's the thing. You can't catch him. But if you could make Sophie and Nick get to the same mm. points, which you can't because he's on seven. Ignore everything I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Can't, I can't, count. Count. <laughs> can't count. It's all right. We'll put the last card anyway. For pride, Nick, can you get it to eight points for pride? The Oracle. The Oracle. Ooh. Sam and Jess? Oh. The Golem. 
Gollum. All right, Thanos. Yeah, the Oracle. The Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> and Sophie. I'm so sorry, the Gollum. Oh, oh no! Oh, what's <laughs> happening? Oh. There's so many extra cards, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'd like to thank my mother and dad, my father, for bringing me into the world. Um, wow, nine points, Nick. That might be the highest score I have ever seen in a game of King of 12. Well done, sir. Thank you. So Nick wins the second round, which means you win the game. Yay! <laughs> nobody, nobody is happy for yeah. you. Everybody's <laughs> fuming. Everybody's fuming. In your <laughs> face, board game review. Ha! <laughs> Back to the wrong horse. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I was very impressed by your strategy, sir. The idea of just randomly selecting a card every turn is yeah. genius. Like, real, real, real genius. Sam and Jess and Thanos, you guys were just in sync for a lot of that game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna tidy up a little bit. And let me sort out my crazy table. I feel like I'm running like a craps table or something here. I feel like I should be doing some kind of Wits and Wagers Las Vegas edition or something here. Would be worrying for people if they find themselves in sync with me. That would be a worry. <laughs> so a doctor's note, note and off work for a week. <laughs> So is everybody up for one more game with some of the more advanced cards? Yep. Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah. So chat, chat, I'm going to come to you. I'm going to pick some cards to put in to make things a little bit more interesting. So first things first, we have to have the knight. Let me bring this back up. There we go. Ooh. There we go. So we have to have the knight. The knight has to be in the game every single time. And we do have to have at least two cards that have dice symbols on them, like this you'll see at the top here. So there's at least two cards involved that actually physically change the dice. So we've got the original seven, which hopefully you've now all seen and have a, a bit of a feel for how they work. So we've got the knight locked in, and we have five more cards we could potentially swap in. So first of all, we've got the reverser which lets you rotate your dice to the opposite side, just your own. However, we've also got the cutest card in there. We've got the Troublemakers, which have all players rotating their dice to the opposite side. We've got the Merchants, which personally I would love to... Oh, he's gone. He's left us. <laughs> he's left. He's the just merchant, talking to which personally as he uh, personally the based on as. He doesn't know he's gone. He <laughs> so we keep going? I just explain what the cards are. You have disappeared. I feel like we should mess with him somehow. Wave to him or something? <laughs> oh, we've got the gambler, which personally is <laughs> based on as. I can definitely vouch for the merchants being a good card to, to include. Yeah, he seems so he... stopped, so I think he's uh, I think he's uh, he's sussed it, he's sussed it, he's sussed it. I also like the merchants, like it's the one ensuing how chaos, I guess. Yeah, yeah, although I don't want next ones though. That's the only thing. Ah, are you back? <laughs> Uh, what was the last thing that I said? Um, <laughs> the really being paid two hundred pounds for the for appearing. How did, how did no shh, private? Good, you cannot keep anything a secret. <laughs> you were talking about the merchants, I believe. Oh, I got relatively far. Then <laughs> clearly they they broke the world. Okay, we've then got the gambler, which says this turn the winner is instead the runner up, and the runner up is instead the winner. I understand why everything broke now because this is a card I am fearing trying to manage on this table with you all. But if, if, the, chat, if the chat want to in, the chat want to in. And then we've got the lady. And the lady is very special because the lady cancels all other cards unless another lady is played and it cancels her. In that case, then the lady player with the lowest die value may take a point token of their choice so it could be a one point token or a two point token from the lady player with the highest die value so basically if you get multiple people playing ladies at the same time you could have a lot of points changing hands so chat we've got to put a couple of these more advanced cards in lady lady you want the lady in nick um, yeah <laughs> just not even you, you just like the idea of stealing points don't you merchant of chaos i love them the chaos of the merchants like the possible chaos yeah, lady. Yeah, and lady. Is you. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we'll lock in the merchant. Then Thanos, is there anyone yeah. in particular that you like? 
No, I would go with the lady also. Okay. Oh, what you guys are aggressive. I love it. All right. <laughs> And we'll put one more, put one more of the advanced cards in. So reverser, troublemakers, or gambler, right? Chat. I'm gonna get I'm gonna let the chat choose this last one. While we're doing that, what I'm gonna do, so chat, choose between the reverser, the troublemakers, or the gambler. I'm gonna shuffle out the basic cards. I'm gonna randomly put in one, two, three, four, three from the start. So we've got one, two, three, and hopefully we'll be fine with that. So alongside the knight, we're gonna have the oracle the golem and the machine, the merchants and the lady, and- I believe we should have two with this blue die on the top. Yes, so I'll, if, I, if I have to swap it, I will swap it. Brie wants the troublemakers, which would give us a blue, which would be good. <laughs> I must admit, I'm a fan of the troublemakers. They're super cute and it's gonna cause absolute chaos. <laughs> it's like, there's gonna be so much chaos. Do you know what? I'm going to just say it. I'm going to say we're going to put the troublemakers in. So there's our seven for this time, this round. Uh, uh, I need I need to do a little bit of organizing just at my end here. <laughs> troublemakers, lady. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so everyone, you still have seven cards, and you always, always, always play with the knight. So we've lost the parasite, we lost the alchemist, and we lost the sorcerer. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay, so hopefully I am all now nicely set up. And I'll grab these, but everybody got your seven cards? Yes. Oh, I've, just, I've just done a little bit of maths on the opposite side of a D12 adds up to 13. It does indeed. Do Did you know, I only learned this the other day, but depending on the faces of the dice, the opposite sides will always add up to the number of faces plus one. So six, D6 always adds up to seven, D12 always adds up to 13, D20 always adds up to 21. I was going to say it makes sense, but it doesn't to me. I, <laughs> I feel it's like voodoo. it should make sense. It's voodoo. It's one hundred percent witchcraft. Yeah. Voodoo. <laughs> um, so I'm just checking mine. So we've got troublemakers, machine, golem, oracle, knight, merchant's lady. Because I'm kind of managing four hands here, so I'm just oh, very quickly. Just to make sure, clockwise will mean that from me that I will go to Nick. Yeah. Yes. Just to make we'll, sure we'll, we have like yes. all the same. <laughs> yeah, we don't want the one space. <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it by <laughs> haggis. <laughs> You'll get them from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we'll take Sam and Jess's haggis. So we're just we're <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want the boat. We didn't want. Them. <laughs> all right. Are we all ready to go? I feel. Yeah. I, I feel like I need a really strong coffee for us about to go down here. This is going to get. Really, really chaotic. I take a big drink. Mm. Okay, let's go. Everybody, roll your dice and let me know what you get. Starting with Nicholas. Six. Six. Sam and Jess. Ten. Ten. Thanos. Seven. Seven. Sophie. Six. Six. So we've got six, six, ten, seven, six, right? Okay. Mm. Let's do it. Grab your first card. If, if you have any questions, now's the time to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go to the toilet, please? No. You're in, de you're in detention after class for all, always sticking all the classroom supplies to your head. <laughs> Welford. <laughs> uh, I should bottle it and sell it as an alternative to blue tack. Oh, that's a marvelous idea, I think. We we'll call it Nick Tack. It will work. Yeah. Prawn Tack. <laughs> Prawn Tack, yes, I'm in. Okay, has everyone got their cars locked in, Thanos? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nick, what are you playing? Oracle. Starting with the craziness immediately. Sam and Jess. The lady. She's a lady. I thought everyone would play that first. Well, Thanos again. 
surely not. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't, no. I didn't think <laughs> anyone would play the lady because there's no points yet. Thanos? Yeah. The merchant. The merchants. Oh, mm. Sophie. The oracle. Which doesn't really matter, six, yeah, because six, of the lady. Six, yeah. Two oracles playing the six. Is... So the merchants always happen first. So this oh. goes. Oh. Oh. Before nice. the lady. Oh no! Sorry, the lady cancels all cards. Ignore what? me! Ignore me! Oh, oh I just—I was yeah. just making sure. I was just making sure you're all paying attention. That's all it was. <laughs> That's all it was. So yes, the lady cancels all of the cards. There's no other lady. So Sam and Jess get two points, and Thanos gets one. I'm not going to repeat my victory. I'm calling it now. That's a very early, <laughs> very early call. It's just not feeling it. I haven't no. won yet. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah, those merchants I feel are really going to mess up a bunch of people's days. I feel. I think I just get excited when I see them. When I even see the merchant card, I literally just get giddy because they're just such a little trouble, troublesome bunch. All right, Sophie. Yeah. Oh, some. Oh, are you sure? Do you want to change your mind? No, yeah. you're good. Okay, Nick. Yeah, I'm good. Gollum. Gollum. Sam and Jess. We've gone the troublemakers. Troublemakers. They're so cute. So cute. That's the only reason we played them. Thanos. The lady. <gasps> Sophie. The knight. Which gets cancelled. Oh wow, we're seeing the lady decimating here. So the lady is gonna cancel all other cards. Which means we're gonna see the same scores again. Two for Sam and Jess. One for Thanos. Everyone's like, we want the lady, we want the lady. Now everyone's like, I kinda wish we didn't put the lady in. She's dead. <laughs> She's really, really brutal. <laughs> All right, Sam and Jess on four, Thanos on two. All to play for. I kind of, I kind of really I wish I had a. Is running out. I kind of wish I had a magical mystery door behind me, which had a speed boat behind it. I kind of feel like I need some kind of dramatic <laughs> reveal, right? <laughs> Thanos, you have yes. Okay, yeah. Nick, what are you playing? Um, the night. Tonight. It's a surprise to me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and Jess. The machine. The machine. Thanos. The golem. The golem. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it through a round where the lady doesn't swoop in and destroy everybody's <laughs> dream? Oh, uh, machine. The machine. So, no lady this time, but we are getting cancelled anyway. <laughs> Well, yeah, so what's going to happen? This is, this is interesting. So the two yeah. machines will cancel. <laughs> oh, <'cause> <laughs> but then the sixes are dead. But the, well, yo, uh, So this is 12, this is 10. The two sixes cancel each other. The 10 ends up being the winner because the knight is active. So, so again, Sam and Jess get two points. That's what we knew would happen. That's what we knew would happen. We just saw My it. My nine oh, is going to be yeah. beaten at this rate. <laughs> Wow. So if Sam and Jess get to eight points, it will be the end of the round before we even play out all of the cards. This is crazy. Mind you, they won the first one last time, and then I won two on the trot. Let's see what so happens. This is good. Yeah. This is good. Okay. I need a Next... warm-up round. <laughs> what was the first one then? I don't... The one you won, was that not a warm-up round? No, with the new cards. With the new uh, cards in. Yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> It's different every time. Oh. All right, everyone is locked in. Nick, what are you playing? Uh, troublemakers. Troublemakers. Please just describe me in the chat. Cuteness and chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and Jess. The Golem. The Golem. Thanos. The Machine. The Machine. Are we going to get our first all unique round? Sophie? Yes, the merchants. <gasps> it will be very chaotic. Oh, know. here we <laughs> go. <laughs> so, the merchants is going to happen first, right? 
So this will go to here. This will go to there. Let's go to oh, here. So and that'll go to there. Then we're going to have now. So this is an important rule in the game. Whenever multiple effect, oh, sorry, multiple effects will hit your dice, usually you would get to choose the order in which they happen. Right now, though, I believe this is going to happen to everybody at exactly the same time. Yeah, there's no other effects. So your seven, Sophie, becomes a nine. Your six becomes a seven. Seven right. becomes no. a six. Seven becomes a six. Shh, shh, shh. Back up to six. Six becomes seven. <laughs> Ten becomes three. There we go. Yeah. But then we have uh, the machine oh, putting sorry. Thanos on 10. And the golem putting <sighs> Samad Yes on 12. So for four <laughs> returns in a row, <laughs> Thanos gets a point and Samad Yes gets two. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a perfect game. That's four <laughs> rounds, max points every time. I I bow, I bow before it's you. All skill, all skill. Yeah. No luck at all there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so Sam and Jess, you guys need to pick a card that you're going to lose and you're not going to be able to use in subsequent rounds. Okay. And let's put this not not there. And everybody else, you can grab your seven cards back. Yeah. Oh no, the bow has fallen off. Oh no. no. Oh, how will we know which uh. one we have? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's fine. It's okay. Question about the lady. Yes. If there is two ladies at the very beginning and nobody has points yet. It means that nobody gets the point. Because exactly. you have to get it from somebody, you cannot get it from Exactly. Somebody. Yeah. Somewhere that's else. it. You got it. Okay. So, Sam and Jess, on one round. If you win the next one, it's going to be game over. And we're going to have to bring you all back again for a, a big final grand finale <laughs> um, at a later date. Right. Everybody ready? Yeah. Roll, roll your dice. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nick. Four. Four. Sam and Jess. Three. Three. Thanos. One. <laughs> One. Oh, can we get a two to make me really happy, Sophie? Sorry, ten. Ah, oh, it's okay. Yeah, but if you add up four, one, and three, you get eight. So think about it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> I still don't yeah. understand it. <laughs> They're both numbers. I'm really, really glad I had you. On, I brought you on the stream early in the week, Nick, because I think on a Thursday my brain would have just melted to that like high level <laughs> math you just at, did. I'd have been at another level too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, choose your first card. I'm really curious to know what card Sam and Jess have locked away. Actually, from these ones, I'm going to ask at the end of the game. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. it's, awesome. it's very hard, Nick, to tell if you're taking this super seriously or not. Like, I'm, I'm, I just read all the words until none of them make any sense anymore. <laughs> uh, you've also broken Brie in chat, by the way. Um, and I don't know if we have Brie insurance at Lucky Duck, so. Uh, I'm going to have to take that out of your salary, Nick, out of the 200 pounds that you're getting paid. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, Nick, what have you got? Gollum. Gollum. Nice and happy and cheery. Sam and Jess. Not happy and cheery for long. Gollum. Go Not happy and cheery for long. My new Instagram account I'm going to be starting this week. Not happy and cheery for long. I like it. Thanos. The night. The night. Oh. <gasps> This could be a really solid night play. Sophie. Oh, please, trouble yeah, me. Yeah, will. The machine. The machine. Oh, oh, yeah. oh the merchants would have been great there. Wow, <laughs> we. So, I think would play. <laughs> so, two golems cancel each other. We end up with the lowest scoring. So, Danos is on one, gets two points. Well done. And then three for Sam and Jess, get one. Very good. Told you I wasn't feeling it. Yeah. You're just a hustler. Which means I'm tempted to do, do that. 
I love that. I really, I, I love the strategy of Savage. <laughs> just, I'm talking about uh, uh, what we're having for tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to do that. Yeah. No. Why do I, Why do I want seafood all of a sudden? My boy's just coming to say good night. Oh. We're, we're live. Why have I got a card stuck to my head? There's a very complicated story. This is Pads. I'm hey, Pads. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I said prawns earlier. Mm. So, don't tell them what it is. This is this is my. Uh, I'm ready. Yeah, tell us what it is. Come on. <laughs> right, ready? Nick. What is it? Too late. The lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sam and Jess. The troublemakers. Uh, Thanos. The troublemakers. Oh no. Right. Yep. Are we going to see an amazing lady play? Oh, what did I just do to that dice? That's a, it's, it was one. Okay. Hoof, hoof. <laughs> my my, 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 sauce, no my sausage fingers have lasted a long time tonight. I'm very impressed that I've not rolled things everywhere. Sophie. The lady. <gasps> we get the, fir the worst person to play in this round. So the lady, the lady does yeah. get cancelled by herself, but it does say only that if the lady, the <laughs> the lady player with the lowest die value may take a point token of their choice from the lady player with the highest dice value, which means Nick would get to steal victory points from Sophie, but neither of them have Eight any point points. Token, please. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, sir. <laughs> Yay! Now I so lose a card, yeah? everything else, everything else gets cancelled. And we need to see who actually came out with Ooh. the win. So Sophie's going to get two. Yes. And can Nick I take is going to. Yes. Now you can get one. <laughs> I'll take two points, please. No, afraid not. Afraid not. I wasn't sure if the lady was like this. So if it gets cancelled, I can still win just by default. <laughs> yes, you still have you still have the highest score, right? Cool. Yeah. It's high class skill, rolling a ten. I love everything about it. Uh, okay, Nick's cards. Nick's locked in. Sam and Jess are locked in super quick. Tighter game this time. So Thanos is on two, Sophie's on two, Nick's on one, and Sam and Jess is on one. Where is where is Thanos score? There it is. Hold on, shimmy. There you go. Okay. Let's Sophie. Yeah. Okay, Nick, what are you doing? Merchants. Merchants. I really hope they don't get cancelled because I love them. They're so fun. Sam and Jess. <laughs> the Oracle. I know, but yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, Thanos. The Oracle. Oh. And Sophie. The Golem. The Golem. Okay, that may end up being a very good call. So the two Oracles are going to cancel. The merchants are going to result in everything going clockwise. Yes. And Sophie, your golem is going to put you at 12. Mm. So Sophie's going to get first, and Nick's going to get second. There we go. Wow, everything is to play for this round. Oh, these cards are clearly much more thinky. Everybody's like head scratching and like serious faces on. I love it. Uh, risky play why not all right all right everyone's locked in right nick what's your risky play troublemakers troublemakers hoping for it to be cancelled <laughs> cancelled or swapped the one getting swapped to you and then flipped could be yeah, pretty good well, be good yeah Is sam and jess the merchant. oh we could see it we could see it what has thanos got to say about it the golem Oh, <gasps> we really could see it. And Sophie, the night. <gasps> oh wow! Oh, we... oh no, Nick. <laughs> I think that's okay. good for us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so first of all, merchants is going to happen first, and everything's going to get rotated. Okay. Uh, right now, it's lowest score wins. The golem is going to put Thanos on twelve, no matter what, and the troublemakers is going to flip everyone's dice. So Sophie from a three to a ten. Oh, that is terrific news. <laughs> Nick from a 1 to a 12. Sam and Jess from a 10 to a 3. Back in the game. And Thanos from a 4 to a 9. Oh. oh, my goodness me. Where did I drop the 9? There it is. So, 
Where are we? Sitting on three points because the uh, three uh, dice value because of the night means Sam and Jess get two points. And on 12 and 12, yep. you will cancel each other. Meaning so. Oh, you're 10. <laughs> oh. Well, it would have been cool anyway. <laughs> Sophie, gets, Sophie goes to five points. <laughs> I'm getting the point. But we did cancel each other. You did cancel each other. Um, so, Thanos and Nick are both on two points each. Okay. Sophie is on five. Sam and Jess are on three. And I believe we're on the last card, right? Because Sam and Jess, you should have just two left. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Last card. Flip all these over. Sophie was sharking us. That's what's. Mm -hmm. That's what's. Uh... This is it. Lucky, mm -hmm. lucky duck, come good in the end. All right. So, uh, everyone locked in. Nick, Sophie, Sam, and Jess, and Thanos. Right, Nick, what are you playing? The machine. Oh, oh I heard a grumble there. <laughs> heard a very, a very subtle no. grumble. Sam and Jess. I do need to. I need to learn some other languages so I can swear. As well. I think. I think I need to get Thanos up on screen. Thanos, do you play a lot of poker? Are you kind of like me? <laughs> yeah, so, I, I have poker face. Yeah, poker face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and Jess. <laughs> The lady. Oh, the, oh, Thanos. Oh, nice. The machine. The machine. And Sophie. The oracle. The oracle. Oh, wow. So the lady will cancel oh. everything. Yeah. Which means. It's not enough. It's not enough. Two points for Nick. Uh, one point for Sophie. Oh, good try. So six points. Five, uh, four points, sorry. Three points and two points. Sophie, you win a round. Yay! <laughs> so grab one of your cards, Sophie, and you're going to put it under your haggis. And it's going to be locked out for the rest of this game. So Sam and Jess are on one round. Sophie's on one round. Thanos, I got faith in you, buddy. I know there's a round in you. I know it's coming. <laughs> Okay, grab everyone's scores back. Oh, my little hairy haggises are molting all over my table. I'm going to hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, they're so hairy. Uh, all right, so roll your dice. Oh, that was a great sounding roll. That was like if you were to go to audio files on a website to download <laughs> dice roll. That was it. Yeah, right? we're, just, we're just pressing play on that. that we're not <laughs> <laughs> right, Nick, what have you got? Three. Three. Sam and Jess. Two. Five. Five. Danos. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. And Sophie. Seven. Seven. All right. Grab your cards. And choose your first. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, Nick. I am kind of rooting for Ginger Haggis. I have a soft spot for him. You know, he's, he feels like part of the family. I, I would really like him to win again. It, I thought it was your spare toupee. <laughs> <laughs> it's the spare. It's the spare winter beard <laughs> that keeps the wind chill off. You know. Right. Nick's locked in. Sam and Jess locked in. Sophie's locked in. Thanos. Oh, oh, there's some real indecision. This 11, all of a sudden, this very successful 11, all of a sudden is like, oh no, is it yeah. good? Do I, do yeah, I like go this, this 11? He has to go with his fourth <laughs> choice now because yeah, he knows it's going to get cancelled. He has to choose four cards. <laughs> <laughs> because I know that everyone will try to go five just to be safe. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I mean, let's go. <laughs> right, Nick, what have you got for me? The night. The night. No. Sam and Jess. The Oracle. The Oracle. I'm seeing a pattern with you guys. You like opening with a bit of the Oracle. I like that. Thanos? The Lady. The Lady. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good call. I like it, Sophie. The Merchants. The Very merchants. good call. <laughs> Yeah, Thanos, I like that play a lot. So everything but the lady's getting cancelled, which means an 11. Thanos is going to get two, and on a seven, Sophie's going to get one. 
Got it well for Thanos. Thanos isn't allowed <laughs> points. If he gets too many points, he'll be able to click his fingers and half of life on the earth will cease to exist. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the board gamers would be in the good half, right, Thanos? You would like... <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not the Euro gamers. The Euro gamers would all be poof <laughs> dust. <laughs> all right, Nick's in, Sophie's in, Sam and Jess are in, and Thanos is like this is Thanos is in the lead right now. The pressure is building. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing to Thanos, lose here. If Thanos wins this one though, then I'm that's going to be real pressure for me. It, it will be. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like a winner by having you here, Nick. So, you know. Feels like the 1972 FA Cup fourth round where Hereford knocked out Newcastle and then <laughs> got knocked out. Feels exactly like that. Exactly like that. Exactly like that. like the... strike from the muddy pitch. When I was minus 15 years old, that's exactly how I felt as I do right now. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't born for it. I was still eight. I was I was still a tear in my mother's eye for eight years. Full of pain. <laughs> I tried to. <laughs> Nick, what card did you play? Forty-two stitches. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> the Oracle. <laughs> Sam and Jess. Nice. I've worked. Out, I think I've worked out Nick's play. Nick plays the card that Sam and Jess played before. Right. <laughs> that I mean, it's. Okay. Yeah, safe, right? Then you don't play the same one. Thanos? <laughs> the merchants. The merchants. Oh! oh. Sophie. Well, now we're going to roll it. The golem. Oh, wow. We Here we go. So what? the merchants is going to happen first. I don't want to roll mine anymore. Oh, no. Uh, maybe you do. All right. So there's the merchants done. Uh, the knight means Lois is going to go. And Nick. Roll your dice, sir. Not a two or a one, please. Two. Is it really? Oh. No, five. <gasps> well, that's important. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate being the same number as someone else. <laughs> Tadas just got rivered. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, no. <laughs> so my 12 is getting a point on the night. <laughs> your 12 is getting a point on the night, Sophie, like an absolute boss. So two points for Sam and Jess. One point for Sophie puts a three-way tie on two points. I love it. Look at that trash talk from Sophie as well. <laughs> and I've got a toy on. She's got she's got the strategy locked in now. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Okay. I wish. <laughs> Ow, I did that too hard. I, I mean, I don't know what this says about me and lockdown life, but I'm really looking forward to the Marble League starting up again on Jell's Marble Run. Like, I'm, I've missed the Marble League a lot. <laughs> like, if you don't watch Marble Races, you're missing out. Is that on Twitch? It's on uh, YouTube. Oh, my friend does them on, fa on Twitch with the Marbles PC program. I, I'm inside. sorry. I'm a I'm a I'm a marble enthusiast. I only like the real thing. Virtual marbles just don't bounce the same way, man. I'm not going to have <laughs> those it's terrible totally random. But I lose every race. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Nick's locked in. Thanos is locked in. I've moved the order again, like an absolute <laughs> terrible person. And then what have I what have I done? Oh my word! Hold on. Let's. Does that work? Oh yeah. There we go. Is that the way it was? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. There oh, we go. So that's we'll do it that order. That I probably a professional would have done this from the start, right? <laughs> right, Nick, you can start the Mexican wave down the down the, the tunnel. Merchant. Sam and Jess. The lady. The lady. Interesting play when you're on a three. Thanos. The golem. Are we gonna see a lady come out? from Sophie, because if we do, it could change the game. Yes, we will. <gasps> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wasn't the best idea. Be honest, Sam and Jess, which one of you made the call to play the lady? Come on. I'm taking credit. She didn't want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all cards are getting cancelled, but the lady, because they both got cancelled, means the lowest lady player Gets to steal a victory point token from the highest lady player. So, would you like the one point or the one point? Um, I think we'll take the one, please. Mm. Nice call. Not that one. 
Oh, sorry. I it, there's, there's a bit of a delay on the stream. Uh, <laughs> that was just, obvious. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now, we still have to do scoring. So we're still going to get two points to Sophie. Oh, I forgot and that one. still one point to oh. Sam and Jess because the fives are tied. <laughs> yeah. What a roller coaster of emotions you're on there, Sam. <laughs> oh. oh. So right now that was like that was a mad run. So Sam and Jess are on four, Sophie's on three, Thanos is on two. Nick is being very kind and giving everybody a chance after his <laughs> mad game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And don't forget, if Sam and Jess win this round, they win the game. No pressure. I like that. How many points they have? Because it's off, off screen a little bit. Oh, it's off screen. Oh, I'm terrible. Uh, they have four. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I love the idea of taking risks. This is great. I love the strategy coming out here. It makes me very happy. <laughs> kind of, uh, uh, yeah, the lesser of three evils we've got here. <laughs> How many cards have you got left? Too many. Three. Oh yeah, because one's underneath, right? Okay. Oh, I, can't, I can't wait to find out. What well, I can't wait to find out what one you've got underneath, man. Okay. The lesser of two evils is what I want on my gravestone. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the greater evil then, Nick? You know. Oh, I know. <laughs> so oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, Nick. What did you play? Machine. Machine. I don't Firm. have any chance of getting points here. Oh, sorry, Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> so much, yes. The golem. Golem. Yeah, since those two die values became the same, this has all gone a little bit to pot per Thanos. Thanos? No machine. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. What are you doing to each other? Sophie? Uh, the Oracle. Oh. All right. So unfortunately, we have a double machine cancel. Wow. And Sophie, a roll of your dice. Yeah. Three. Three. <laughs> no, it doesn't cancel, unfortunately, though, because they played the golem. Which means their die value is 12. So they're still going to get two points. And so we're still going to get one because the fives are cancelling. Oh, it's brutal. All right. <laughs> All right. Last card to be played. Okay. Sam and Jess on six. <sighs> Sophie on four. If Sophie was to get two and Sam and Jess weren't to get any and they were to tie on six, their their scores would be cancelled and it would fall to the next player. Let's not turn fight here. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't seen more of it, to be honest. Yeah, I know. It's not happened once yet. All right. Nick's locked in. Sam and Jess locked in. Dunhouse is locked I'm in. Sylvia's no locked use. in. I'm of no use. No use, Nick. What's no your use. last card for this round? Oh, um, the Golem. The Golem. Sam and Jess. The Troublemakers. The Troublemakers. Thanos. The Oracle. The Oracle. And Sophie. The Knight. Oh! <gasps> hmm. Oh! So, the Troublemakers is going to happen first, so everybody's going to have their dice flipped. So, is this right? Hold on. Is that meant to be on a three? Did I mess this up? No. No, we've, yeah, we've always been on a three. Yeah, we, oh, they've just... Oh. Yeah. Mini panic just, for a second. Just, just, just so, so, it, yeah. Two, two yeah. threes become intense. And two fives become an eights. Nick is effectively on a 12. And we need to have an oracle roll from Thanos. Yeah. Oh, it's a 12. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that... <laughs> it's not your day, mate. It is not your day. <laughs> good timing. <laughs> oh, good. That, that's... Uh, that's incredible. So, so, so yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, everything is cancelled. So the two, so the, the twelve for Nick and the twelve for uh, Thanos get cancelled. The ten for Sophie and the ten for Sam and Jess get cancelled. So no points are getting given, which means we're stuck in the points we left. Which means Sam and Jess, you win on six points. Yeah. This is the precise well problem I have with cancel culture. 
<laughs> in our very first stream of this game, that's exactly what someone in the chat called it. They just called it cancel culture <laughs> the game, which I'm not sure I was a fan of, but it, it is appropriate at times. Well done. What card did you guys decide that you didn't want to have? Uh, the machine. The machine. The machine. Uh, Sophie, you also chose the machine. Interesting yeah. that you both went with the same the same option with the kind of standard card rather than one of the more tricky ones. Yes, or well, the others can get you out of pretty sticky holes. I think mm. uh, if you land on a on a small number. So yeah. Nick, so, Nick, that. shush, shush. Shush. I knew. I saw his face go down. <laughs> I saw. I saw Thanos go as well. I'll say nothing. Um, well, look. So Nick, Nick won a game. Sam and Jess won a game at, at oh, yeah, UK won, Games yeah. Expo. Yeah, you won one, Nick. Don't worry, man. No one counted it because it was the warm up, but you know, you won it. <laughs> so at UK Games Expo, if we have it this year, if it does go ahead, we'll have to get you all together and have a proper King of Twelve finale. Oh yes, yes please. Yeah. <laughs> but well, in, until then. <laughs> <laughs> until then i gotta say thank you all so much for coming this was absolutely amazing thank it was you. great to see all of you playing and um, before we wrap up do you want to give any shout outs to anything that you're doing or working on so people know where to find you nick we have we'll start with you of course uh, yeah what, what am i doing i did a thing on twitch earlier on twitter no, on instagram that said all the live things i'm doing and now i can't remember what it was <laughs> hang on let me look on my instagram to find out oh tomorrow 12 12 at Trek 12 at 12 o'clock, live on Instagram on the channel of the wonderful Saggy Head. Okay. <laughs> S- serious, I'm going on Saggy Head's channel to play okay. Trek 12. Sorry, so, uh, at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Is that, is that BST? That is PM. PM. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 12 p.m. wherever you are in the world, Nick is going to be live playing Trick 12. <laughs> Sam and Jess, where can people find you and what are you up to? So uh, you can find us on Instagram at S versus J Board Games. And then uh, we have our review website, S versus J Board Games dot com. Uh, so if you want to come and follow that, then so it's not just my mother reading our reviews, then that would be much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you so much both for being on. And Sam, I hope that your football manager does not get mad of you for skipping a football match. It's okay. Uh, we lost 7-5, which is an it extraordinary score. So, it was uh, clearly because you weren't there. So I, I don't um, want to say it, but that's no. what we're doing. <laughs> I'm Thanos, good sir. Thank you for coming on. Do let us know what you're up to, where people can find you. On uh, YouTube, uh, Board Game Stories, and our website, boardgamestories.com. I, uh, I I will absolutely be in touch with you, sir. I know Lucky Duck are going to be on Board Game Stories much more in the future. We've got exciting things that we'll be showing through you all. Um, That's great. And Sophie, I mean, for Lucky Duck Poland, I think you gave it a good shot. I, I think you tried. You, you got a game in the bag. I thought you were going to take it, so I can't be mad at you. you. You played well. I won one round. Maybe that counts. It, it does, but don't rub it in Thanos's face. That's really, cool. That's really <laughs> cool of you to do that. Like I can't, I can't believe the shade you're throwing at the end of the stream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just, I just. So yes, if you don't know, um, as Sophie mentioned earlier, we do Lucky Duck England. We do. I've moved everyone around again. Lucky Duck England, Lucky Duck France, and Lucky Duck Poland. So if you're watching um, from anywhere in the world, you can look at our specific Facebook groups, Twitters, and Instagrams for those each of those uh, countries. And we've got games coming out and catalogs individual in all those languages. So it's a really exciting time to check out what we are doing. So last thing I'll say is. On the Lucky Duck Games Facebook page, go and check out the King of 12 competition. Have a look at the picture of the boxes. Try and find how many differences between the two of them before <laughs> midnight this Friday. Uh, and you might win a copy of this. For now, I'm going to say thank you all, everybody, so much for being here. And thank you, everyone, all my lovely guests for coming on. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll say goodbye for now. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs>